everybody. Uh, I'm Joseph Perla, and this is Facundo. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about content creation, production, ownership, and monetization, as well as what the future of live performances will be with music. Um, but first, we're going to go a little bit into our bios. Um, so I'm Joseph Perla. I'll be interviewing Facundo. And I was an original back-end engineer who built turntable.fm. Uh, it was a really popular music website back uh, seven years ago. Uh, millions of users coming into virtual rooms, 2D flat avatar rooms where people were dancing and then taking turns playing songs to each other. Uh, super fun, super, super, super addictive. Um, it's no longer around right now, but the future of music, I think, especially with live coming forward, is going to look more like that. Um, Facundo? Yeah, I'm Facundo Diaz, the CEO and co-founder of VRTify. Um, in VRTify, we are just a bunch of geeks uh, who love the music. Um, uh, the thing is, uh, we have been working in immersive technologies, uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality um, for the last maybe six years. And one year ago, we decided to create uh, the platform to make music happen in, in immersive technologies. So we create VRTify, which is basically a, a music service provider uh, for immersive technologies. Um, we, are work we develop an end-to-end -end solution to, to let artists create um, content in virtual reality, augmented and mixed reality. And we developed all the tools uh, to distribute that content and let the users access um, to this library of music in immersive technologies. Yeah. Great. Um, so, Facundo, what uh, are your main goals with VRTify today, and what are the goals of the organization going forward? Yeah, we have two goals, or maybe obsessions. The first okay. one is um, we are trying to understand, uh, working with the artists and music labels, how, how we can expand the music experience. Yeah. Uh, music is not just what we are hearing, it's also uh, uh, what we are feeling or experience. Uh, this kind of immersive technologies uh, bring to us amazing opportunities uh, to maybe redefine the concept of music video clip um, because we can let uh, the users uh, transport themselves to new worlds, new realities. Uh, so the, the first goal is um, how to create um, interesting or amazing content in, in, in immersive platforms. Um, and the second one is uh, how we can make or maybe develop or provide the tools uh, for the musician uh, to, to distribute that content and yeah. monetize that content. Um, and, and our challenge is uh, we are trying to make that content perform at the same time in every immersive technology. For us, it's very important not to talk only about virtual reality because augmented reality and, and mixed reality, mixed reality, it's, it's coming fast and it's amazing. So uh, that's uh, one of our challenges. So you have uh, at least two pillars for VRDefy. The first one is about uh, live performances. Mm -hmm. And tell me more about that. What is the future of live performances? And what have you already done with VRDefy? Yeah, yeah it's, it's exciting. Uh, we are not trying just to replicate the real concert uh, because it's interesting, but yeah. it's just to place a 360 camera on the stage and, and pretend that the users enjoy just looking around. Uh, it's interesting, but it's not the, the, the best thing. Uh, the opportunities that we have right now is we can recreate the things. We, we can digitally create what we want yeah. around a, a live performance. So we can, we, are, we have been doing different uh, tests uh, and we can make, for example, if, I don't know, maybe Coldplay is playing in some country and you want to, uh, attend the live concert, um, the, the live concert of core play, we can maybe redefine the set, maybe create, um, or we can let the user leave that concert, maybe from the forest, <laughs> or maybe floating around the space, <laughs> and Chris Martin will be singing uh, uh, in, in, in 
real in life, but uh, in, in a completely new world that we can create using this in immersive technology. That's the idea. Uh, we are exploring that kind of things because everything is new around virtual reality, but we are sure that the opportunities um, are uh, in, in uh, or maybe um, are around how we can recreate the experience, not just yeah. replicate the, the traditional experience. So you've already like put a 360 camera in front of the stage at Lollapalooza, yeah. and people around the world were streaming that live and looking around like they were there. Yeah, yeah. But you're saying you can also make it so that you can make the stage bigger, make it a forest, make like the guitar spit fire out. Absolutely. That, and that would be like a whole different experience even from being... That, exactly the idea. We, we usually work with the artist yeah. uh, to understand uh, as um, they define the, the, the set uh, during yeah. the concert. We, we are working with them to define the set in, in these new worlds. They have uh, a vision of what uh, they want. Absolutely. And they're not bound by reality anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and that's it's happening in virtual reality. In, in, in mixed reality, it's very interesting because we can bring the hologram of the artist yeah. and we can let the users just bring the artist to their living room, place the artist there, and the, the singer will be playing for you or the band will be playing for you right in, in your living room. So it's very exciting, <laughs> excited about all the things that we can do around music. And, and I think we are living exciting times uh, yeah. with this kind of technologies. And the other part of your platform are the, the other digital tools and the tooling you're making for the platform. Uh, you have a, an office in LA, yeah. building out content. Tell me more about that one. Yeah, our main office is in Palo Alto, but uh, we are opening a production studio in, in LA because we are working with holograms. So uh, we need a particular technology for that. Um, but yes, we have a production studio also in LA. It's easy to work with the music labels and the artists uh, from there, and that's why we also <laughs> moved to, to LA, yeah. That's awesome. Um, so the way that you monetize is also interesting, too. I think if you look at SoundCloud, Spotify, and Apple Music, a lot of artists are complaining about not really getting a big cut. They're getting checks for like $14. Um, and I see a lot of artists starting to think about, well, how can we innovate on this? Uh, one way that you guys are doing it's really interesting is since it's VR, it's video, you can have pre-roll video ads before before the VR content. And then I see another trend with other artists, for example, Chance the Rapper is going to colleges and then selling t-shirts. He's making a ton of money selling t-shirts because music is, is becoming free. It's just a lot. Absolutely. We, we, you were trying to enhance the experience, add a whole new dimension to that. Um, if you look at Kanye West, he's uh, creating a brand, not just the music, but he's making a brand and then selling the brand's fashion uh, clothing that he's making. Adidas made a huge billion dollar deal with him. These, this is kind of the future where artists are making more of a, a brand and selling things in different ways, potentially even through mixed reality. Through Yeah, uh, absolutely. Are yeah. we going to see like uh, Justin Bieber in his, in his bed, like making music and then live streaming that through VR? Uh, yeah. will, we be able to, will he be able to make a virtual concert even not at a concert venue, not at Lollapalooza? Yeah, well, that, that's the idea. I mean, um, all the artists are, are trying to find new ways to monetize the, the yeah. art. You know about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think this kind of technology are bringing new opportunities. The challenge we have, or, or maybe w the challenge we have as a tech guys, yeah. uh, is the same challenge that the artists uh, are facing, is how we can uh, take advantage of this this kind of technology to um, maybe share the money not only with the music labels, <laughs> but also with all the artists. Uh, uh, that's the, 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 the challenge and also the opportunities we have. Uh, we define a business model in which we share all the revenues that we generate with the content owners, 70% of, re of the revenues that we are getting from our distribution platform. We share that revenues with the content owners, that's only a way or maybe an idea, but I'm sure that we will see many um, other ways to monetize 
uh, around music, not only in VR, also in, 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 in our platforms. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And One other way that uh, I see potentially music going in the future is that it, we're kind of still using 19th century technology. Uh, the phonograph recorded a, a song in a live studio, and then just you play that same song over and over and over again. And we've gotten better with digital, where that same song doesn't wear out the vinyl. But what if we start to leverage more of the live, immediate tools that are starting to develop? What if uh, you had almost a, a, a vinyl record that you played it one day, and it's your favorite song, and you love it? Then you, you know, pull it off next day, put it back on again, and it's the same song, but uh, there's a, an extra verse that the artist outed because he felt like it, it could add a touch-up. Or what if um, the next day you're at a party, you play that same song again, and the guitarist goes into an extended three-minute solo in the middle, and you're like, it's the same song, you still love it, you still feel it, but it gets fresh, it's different every time because it changes based on when the l band last played it live or the, next, the last time the band practiced. Mm -hmm. um, that's another way we can start using some of these live technologies that Facebook or other people are developing, some of the, live te some of the cool virtual reality things you're, you're creating to enhance the experience, give a new experience that's, that's even bigger than what you have had in the past. And almost we're, we're almost going back to a time uh, originally when people just played music at homes and everything was live. But you're, you're now able to make it so that someone can make a concert and almost all the music you can... Are, are you, are you going to see like an explosion of people making almost virtual reality concerts? Since you don't have to book out a whole venue, you can just book out half the venue and stream the rest and make as much money as if you booked the whole thing. Yeah, right? um, not sure if it will be an explosion of people <laughs> uh, creating content in, in, in virtual reality. Um, I, I think it will be, or it is, it's just another way uh, to create or distribute music. Um, and it, it will complement uh, yeah. the traditional ways in which we, we experience the music. A live concert, maybe my playlist, my Spotify playlist. But the thing is that uh, it will just bring new ways that, uh, uh, w that will probably change the way <laughs> we experience the music. But um, I, I, I'm seeing virtual reality or immersive technology at least uh, in the next few years as a complement uh, of the traditional ways to, to access to the music. Yeah. Speaking of uh, complement, you were telling me a bit about uh, backstage about uh, three VR music videos. That's yeah. something you guys are, are working on so that you, you have a, it's, instead of enhancing a music video such that you're in it, like you're dancing with the zombies or something like that. Tell me more about that. Yeah. Well, the interesting thing is that we can digitally create what we want. So, um, as I told you, we are working with the artists, trying to understand or maybe already find the storytelling uh, around a, a music video. It's not like a video that you can see uh, through in a passive way in your TV or your smartphone. Uh, right now, we can let the users get into the digital world. Um, and we are working with artists create like Sting, 21 Pilot, Florence mm -hmm. and the Machines. Wow. The, 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 most of the artists, even biggest, big artists, are, are, are excited about what they can do. And we are doing things like that. We, we are creating new worlds. Maybe um, we can create a, a, a VR clip in which the artists start to sing uh, maybe run around the forest yeah. and maybe if they make just one step the forest change and you are floating around the space that's the, the amazing thing that that we can do and well but we really need the creativity or, or and also we really need to understand the story or the things that the artists want to transmit uh, with their song, for example. Yeah, that's, that's great. Sting yeah. and Florence and the Machine, and that's that's awesome. Yeah, yeah I can imagine the incredible immersive experiences they can in, invent. Yeah, you really we need we need a new channel. We need a new MTV. We need an MTVR or something. Yeah, that, that that's the idea. We organize the content uh, in channels. Uh, every artist has their own channel. And we provide all the tools for them to manage their content and also monetize. Um, but that's You're the full platform. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. That, that's the idea.
Anna, tell me, how, how do you imagine the, you've love, been working think, in, in, yeah. in music also? You're asking me a lot of questions, but I'm sure you, you have your vision. I'm super about. excited about <laughs> your platform and tools. I would love to use those tools to build out new spaces. Imagine, I, I can imagine in the future, there, a lot of people use IRC chat rooms or, or Slack rooms and have for years. Um, but one cool thing about Turntable was we could make these virtual spaces that were just 2D. With your platform, we can make a 3D space that's in space or in forest, just using your tools, mm -hmm. and then make a virtual club. Or maybe not even a club, maybe just a small room that feels good, feels comfortable for my friends and my coworkers. And we just sit there virtually, and even if some people are in other countries, some in Argentina, some in, in Europe, and we're just listening to music together, talking about it, feeling it, feeling the music. It's about making that feeling, immersive feeling, just like you're in the same place physically, but sometimes we're not. We're really busy flying a lot everywhere. So I, that's exciting, the kind yeah. of platform and vision you're pushing forward. Absolutely. That's the idea. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, I think that's everything we have for today. Thank you so, so much for listening. Okay. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you.